Luke. Today we're going to do another uh, quarantine workout for those of you with not much space, um, no equipment necessary. All we need is a floor, and hopefully everyone should be able to find that. Um, if you have a dirty floor, you can always put a towel down or a mat. Uh, we're going to use our body weight and gravity for resistance here. So we'll start with uh, lower body. One of the most important exercises out there, actually. This one uh, is good for everyone. This one is really going to train the glutes, hamstrings, but it also is going to help prevent uh, back pain, knee pain, um, most common knee and back injuries. So what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to have our knees about 90 degree bent, heels dig into the ground. You can have your feet flat or toes up. Either way is fine. And what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot our hips up to the sky, pushing your feet down through the floor. Come down to your glutes, uh, tap the ground, and right back up. One of the main mistakes I see with this, what we want to do is press our lower back down into the mat and our glutes come up first, almost like we're peeling off the ground. The main mistake I see is people's back come up first. So what we really want to think about is your uh, front pelvic bone should be coming up higher than your belly button. We don't want this coming up right through here. Really squeeze the glutes. Back down, back up. Today we're going to do all these for about 30 seconds. Really feel the, feel the burn down the back of the legs. You can exhale on your way up, keep your abs tight like someone's punching you in the stomach. They're engaged to keep your spine in that neutral position the entire time. Good, we got time for two more. Good, last one, all the way up. Each time try to get a little higher. All right, next thing we'll do, we'll go uh, to a little bit of upper body. What we'll do here is we'll lie down. Or we're gonna keep your chest and your chin down on the ground. Right here, arms out straight like you're flying away like Superman. Let me scoot back a little bit. And from here, what we're gonna do is have one arm come up and then the other arm. Each time, try to get a little higher than you did the last time. Each time, try to pinch a little more in your shoulder blade. You'll feel it in the back of your shoulder as well. Common mistake I see with this is people using their spine. They're coming up, they're extending their spine to come up. I want your spine staying neutral, staying down. You're not twisting to come up. We're not doing this, we're not arching. It's just coming from that shoulder joint. Really good for posture. Really good to protect, protect from shoulder injuries. Go, we got less than 10 seconds, keep fighting. Last one on each side. Hold this one a little extra long this time. Nice, now we'll go back down into some lower body. Uh, what we'll do from here, we'll lie down. Uh, we'll be on our side. We want shoulder stacked over shoulder, hip over hip. And from here, we're gonna straighten our legs. We're gonna squeeze that quad. I like to point uh, the toe, flex it up towards my knee. Right here, so we keep that whole quad engaged. But from here, we're gonna internally rotate. We're gonna point our knee down to the ground. We're just gonna come up. So think lead with your heel. Main mistake I see is people rotate as they come up, they're leading with their toe. I wanna make sure you're uh, almost pigeon toed while we do this. That's really gonna isolate that glute medius. This is another really good injury prevention exercise. Really helps stabilize the hip joint, stabilize that pelvis area. Helps with a lot of knee pain, a lot of lower back pain as well. If every human incorporated this movement and the bridges that we did before into their uh, normal routine, you would avoid a lot of lower back pain and knee pain. Almost done, you should really get that burn right in here. Last one, come up and squeeze good next one we'll do we'll do the other side same thing this hand can be down in front for extra support squeeze then internally rotate and come all the way up you can rest your head down if you want or you can hold the head up whatever's easier
Again, make sure as we come up, we're not forgetting and rotating up. We're keeping that uh, knee down, staying internally rotated. Five seconds. And again, it's not just this hip working. You're also pushing off the ground with that lower leg. So both feet are working to spread your legs apart. Last one. All right, we're gonna go back up to upper body now. With this one, what we'll do, a lot of people love this exercise, uh, push-ups. So from this one, we'll do straight line. We'll do knee push-ups. Straight line from your knee up to your head. Um, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs. Thumb right underneath your shoulders. And we're gonna come all the way down, leading with your chest, all the way back up. We don't want your arms right by the side of your body. We also don't want them flared out like a T. So we're gonna find the happy medium right about 45 degree angle right here. So your elbows are gonna be. Our shoulders aren't shrugging up. We're pulling them down, down away from your ears. Another main mistake I see with this exercise is people, uh, the muscle in the back of their neck um, aren't working. They're, they start falling, uh, their head starts falling forward. Make sure we're pulling our head up. If this is too easy, you can come up to your toes and do the regular push-ups. If you want, you can start with that. And as that gets too challenging, you can then drop to your knees, up to you. Make sure our glute, glutes are squeezed the whole time. Almost done, two more. All the way down. Last one, all the way up. Make sure the whole time you're doing that, you're pinching your shoulders back, sticking the chest out. Um, we'll do one more lower body exercise today. We'll lie down, similar starting position as our bridge. This time we're gonna have one leg out straight. We're gonna point that uh, toe up towards our knee again, squeezing the quad. And all we're gonna do is do a uh, line leg raises from our back position now right here. Heel taps the floor, all the way back up. One of the main mistakes I see with this is lo lower back. That lumbar area starts arching up as we go. Press that lower back down into the mat. We'll get a little bit of a core workout as well doing this one. What's nice about a lot of these strength exercises is you're working on mobility too. You're getting an active stretch of the hamstring as well. So one side of the leg is actually contracting and getting a workout. The other side is getting a stretch. Exhale as you go up. We'll do one more. Nice, and we'll switch. You should get a little burn right there in the hip flexor. And we'll do the other side. Same thing, you're gonna Point your toe up towards your knee, squeeze your quad, and come up nice and high, and back down. Same thing, don't forget to engage the core, as if someone's punching you in the stomach, you're pressing your lower back down into the mat. Use your elbows for support or your hands, whichever's easier. Good, we'll do three more. And last one here. Nice, last exercise of the day. Uh, we'll do move back up to upper body. Again, this is really good for all the people typing, texting, sitting all day. We really get locked up here. Those muscles behind the scap, so we end up with this bad posture. So this one's gonna help us open up with that. So kind of similar to what we did on the first exercise, we're gonna lie down. Our spine is gonna stay, stay in that neutral, that same position the whole time against the floor. Keep your chin down the whole time. This time, instead of our arms up here, though, we're gonna come out to the side. Same concept. We're gonna do them together this time. We're gonna come up, back down, come up, back down. Hold for a good count. When you're holding, you're not just holding, you're actively trying to pinch your shoulder blades together. So if there's an egg back here, you're trying to crack it. Another option you can do for this one is you can point thumbs to the sky. Some main mistakes here I see here are people shrugging. They shrug as they come up. Make sure we're pulling our shoulder blades back and down. Five seconds. And the last one we're gonna come up. We're gonna hold extra long, really pinch, stick your chest out. Core engaged, 
Remember, we're not arching our spine to get to that position. All right, so there's just a few minutes of a workout you can do to get a little bit of strength, full body, um, without any equipment, no space, just need your body, gravity, and um, I'd recommend running through that at least two, three more times on your own. You can get, you know, you can run through that cycle three times if you play the video, and um, it's a good way to stay active when, when we don't have weights and we don't have the gym. So keep working.